As the name implies, this will be a quick visual guide of nutrient deficiencies in cannabis. And if you identify any of the images as uh, something you may have, there'll be more detailed videos provided here on Tobacco University. All right, let's get to that quick visual guide for nutrient deficiencies in cannabis. Well, first off, try to avoid those. You wanna focus on the pH. If a nutrient deficiency is suspected, be sure the pH uh, the plants are growing in is near optimum as this will ensure nutrients are available to the plants. Typically, we're talking in that you know six-ish range, six to seven or so, getting a quality pH pen or pH meter. When it does pH, temperature as well as EC or PPM uh, is also advised. Now here are just some of the major nutrients. So the first one is nitrogen where the lower leaves are yellowing and the upper leaves are still green. Phosphorus shows this kind of overall kind of yellowing with some brown colorations, typically found lower in the leaf canopy. And potassium is evident by the yellowing of the leaf margins. Now, looking at our secondary nutrients, we have magnesium, which is yellowing intervenally, meaning between the veins. We have calcium, which is this kind of brown speckling along with some yellowing. And then iron deficiency, which is those upper leaves are showing the yellow, unlike the nitrogen deficiency where the lower leaves were. As said before, not to lie to you, this was intended to be a short video. If any of these look like of concern in your plants, search the channel for more detail on all of these nutrient deficiencies here on Tobacco University.